African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the special military operation on the 3rd of January, 2024. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation. In Kupansk direction, units of the Zapad group of forces supported by artillery repelled one attack of assault groups of the armed forces of Ukraine 115th Mechanized Brigade close to Sinkovka, Kharkov region. In addition, strikes were delivered at armed forces of Ukraine manpower near Ivanovka and Sinkovka, Kharkov region. The enemy's losses amounted to more than 35 Ukrainian troops, three motor vehicles, and one Polish-made crab self-propelled artillery system. In Krasny Lyman direction, the center group of forces units and artillery hit clusters of armed forces of Ukraine manpower and hardware near Chervenaya Dybrova, Lugansk People's Republic, and Serebryansky Forestry. The enemy has lost up to 40 Ukrainian troops, two motor vehicles, as well as one D-30 howitzer. In Donetsk direction, units of the U group of forces supported by operational tactical aviation and artillery inflicted fire damage on armed forces of Ukraine manpower and hardware near Bogdanovka, Krasnoy, Kleshchevka Andreevka, and Kurdyamovka, Donetsk People's Republic. The enemy losses in this direction amounted to more than 310 Ukrainian military personnel, one tank, two U.S.-made Bradley infantry fighting vehicles, three armored fighting vehicles, nine motor vehicles, one Stubby howitzer, one D-20 and one D-30 howitzers, as well as one electronic warfare station. In South Donetsk direction, the Vostok Group of Forces Units, Aviation, and Artillery repelled three attacks of assault groups of the Armed Forces of Ukraine 127th Territorial Defense Brigade close to Pryetnoi, Zaporizhzhia region. In addition, enemy manpower and hardware have been hit near Novomikolovka and Eurozainoi, Donetsk People's Republic. Up to 115 Ukrainian troops, two armored fighting vehicles, three pickup trucks, and one Gvostika self-propelled artillery system have been eliminated. In Zaporizhzhia direction, units of the Russian group of forces supported by artillery inflicted losses on manpower of armed forces of Ukraine 65th, 118th mechanized, 128th Mountain Assault Brigades close to Rabatino, Verbovoy, and Lukianovskoy, Zaporizhzhia region. The enemy losses amounted to up to 55 Ukrainian troops, three armored fighting vehicles, and two motor vehicles. In Kherson direction, units of the Russian group of forces supported by artillery inflicted losses on armed forces of Ukraine manpower on the right bank of the Dnieper River near Tyajinka, Ivanovka, Sadovoy, and Tokarevka, Kherson region. Up to 50 Ukrainian troops, two armored fighting vehicles, three motor vehicles, one Buk M1 anti aircraft missile launcher, and one D 20 howitzer were destroyed. Missile troops and artillery, as well as UAVs of the Russian group of forces, have engaged one hangar with aircraft munitions, one ST 68 radar station for detecting and tracking low altitude targets. Deployment points of foreign mercenaries and the Kharkov's China National Formation close to Kharkov, 89 artillery units in firing positions, manpower, and military hardware in 134 areas. Air Defense Forces have intercepted eight Tachkyu missiles, two S-200 anti-aircraft missiles converted to hit ground targets, as well as 34 Hamars, Alka, and Vampire MLRS projectiles during the day. In addition, 15 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles were shot down close to Energodar, Mernoi, Zaporizhzhia region, Zoloteriovka, Lugansk People's Republic, Gorlovka, Pesky, Spornoi, Donetsk People's Republic, and Novaya Kakovka, Kherson region. In total, 565 airplanes and 263 helicopters, 10,367 unmanned aerial vehicles, 446 air defense missile systems, 
14,447 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles, 1,194 combat vehicles equipped with MRLS, 7,618 field artillery cannons and mortars, as well as 17,040 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.